boy, this is driving me up the wall. So as you guys, oh ladies now, that there is this big huge delay that is going on at the moment. And some of you know, or some of you don't know. Um, the people that who do know that have met me before asking what is going on, well, they, <laughs> I guess they try to say, hey, what's going on and that. Um, obviously, that some of you guys and ladies know that a family member has passed away and I'm kind of been with myself lately and also try my best to take mind off things of keeping myself busy going to the gym playing games and try to get myself active as some of you know that I have moved out of the share accommodation and I'm living in with my family member house but unfortunately, it is a really, really slow process. The reason why it is a slow process is that there is a shed that's supposed to be built for me so I can actually keep my motorbike safe. But the biggest problem is that there is no roof and there is no door. The shed has already been built, you know, is it's built and it's finished, but the only two things missing is the roof and a shed, uh, the door. I do apologize. So the person that posted to do the roof and fit the door, um, his son had has sort of problems. I don't know the specific details on what happened to his son or something like that. It's something bad has happened and it just all suddenly it just kind of cut, like completely cut, like no um, communication whatsoever. So the builder that who hired this person to finish the job that is, don't, I don't think it's really that difficult for a person with, with his skills to finish, finish up. But he's just really taking way, way too long to, to finish it. And it's also as well, there, there's just no communication whatsoever. So... I I think the shed had finished in I think it was last month and I think that was April time. I think it was April town April finished at April or March. I think it was March that it finished. So it finished in in March time but for for some reason, again, I'm not hearing no word on when this is going to be done. Um, when the builder found out that what has happened and that and asking this person to take this needs to be done whatsoever, but he didn't tell the, the builder how long this is what this was going to be it was going to be delayed for and if he told and say you know what it's going to be like in a couple of months or something like that i would have to make a decision right there and then and say no i'm not going to wait this long so it's best to get someone else to do the job but yes it has been been a really long um, then I've been told that it will he will come and do it this day and it didn't he didn't arrive and it been I've been told he will come on this day and he didn't arrived and I'm 
getting frustrated. I'm getting really frustrated. Another problem is that my insurance company is also kicking me in the balls. And what I mean by that, when I want to renew my motorbike insurance, I phoned up and told them that I want to renew my motorbike insurance. And then my insurance company asked me to prove that I live at the address. Now, my motorbike was registered in in uh, in my old address and I was still there at the time and I already turned around to the company and said so hold on let me get this straight you you you're asking me to prove to you guys that I live at this address and I said yeah so I said like to them like so why you ever asked me this when I phoned up last month I mean not last month sorry last year so I I was I was really peed off about this because if they asked me last month to prove that I live at this address then you know the insurance would be would been sorted out but the reason why they're asking me this is um is because that there are people who try excuse me trying to get cheaper uh insurance try to get cheaper motorbike insurance and then also car insurance as well so for a person who like me who is being loyal customer being treated like uh, like a criminal and yeah I had to prove that I live at my old dress and the information that they're asking me I really don't have they're asking me for like uh, that my name like something that proof like I'm council tax but when you're in the share accommodation you don't pay council tax you don't pay council tax you don't pay water bills you don't pay uh, electric or and all that stuff and then i was kind of like you know so okay so how am i gonna prove that if i can't get that and also like i said i live in a share accommodation so how can i get that and um they turned around and said well if you don't know then we can't give you any the your, your insurance so I was really peed off then I turned around to them and I said okay what happened if I get like a tenant agreement and print you know and send, send you that they said oh yeah that'll, that'll be fine so when I got the tenancy agreement I got a phone call from my my builder and said, right, just to let you know that um, that the person to do your roof and door, he will be doing it at this day, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, right, cool. So I don't really need this tenancy agreement, but I still have it. So as a stupid that I was, I said that I'm moving address and that and this and I told them to give them the information they're asking me oh where where's your motorbike going to be going to be stored and all that stuff so I give them information and that and I kind of wish I didn't mention that I was moving I thought I, I could have just I could have just waited until the shed was was done but nope I was stupid and now that there was another delay and then i really couldn't do much and i couldn't go back on my word and so that's a kick in the balls for me 
and then I think about two two or three weeks later um, the person that was going to do the roof and the door decided to to come over in the morning when I was in bed had not been told that he's coming over on the day he knocked on the door once because I never hear the door knocked um, and then he left then two days later two or, I think two or three days later I had been told that he came to the house and he knocked on the door and um, I didn't answer and he said he needed power to cut cut um, some few things and I, and I would sit to the builder so how come that he never call you to tell you know you tell you know call you so you can call me to say hey um just to let you know that my guy is at is at your house and he needs power to do the, the roof and the door no he didn't do he didn't do that whatsoever it is just what he just went home and I was so peed off that this person has has done this and it, it was just basically just no communication whatsoever with, with this person there's no communication he just he just came in just came to the house in the blue and just want to start the work and that but it, it was just so frustrating so I couldn't ride my bike um, I think my insurance ran out um, this month it is May it ran out I think it ran out on 13th ran out the 13th of May if I can if I can remember right it ran out the 13th of May and I am at home cannot ride anywhere can't do any errands for my family member especially if I want to go get cheap stuff I will get um, medication so yeah I'm kind of just stuck in Doncaster can't go out for a ride I can't even go out to events speaking of events um, there was four events that I was supposed to go to three of them that I had uh, already paid for already got the tickets uh, no longer useful no more uh, I think I paid 15 pounds 10 pounds and also 20. So that money has gone down the drain and it would have been a, a fun video and yeah that money is just total <laughs> gone down the drain and the, the fourth one it was just for free and yeah I can't go to that one. The fourth one um, I think that is I think it has next week or next month so I think it's in June or it could be in May so yeah so I am I'm, I'm really upset by this that, that this is actually happening and what is even worse as well is that I am still paying for the rent at my old my old home and in a share accommodation I'm still paying uh, 350 pounds now that money could have been used for um, for me to try to get a full motorbike license but because of this this delay it's burning my wallet it's totally burning my wallet and 
yeah, I'm not getting enough money. So I'm actually glad that I'm not paying rent here, but I'm paying rent at a place that I don't live. And I still have my stuff in in the old um, accommodation. I still have I still have my tools. I still have one of my mattresses. Um, I still have one of my plates and my plates. Um, couple of bed sheets um, I got I got some other stuff that belongs in the garage and I got some stuff that belongs indoors but unfortunately they are still there and I'm just like twiddling my thumbs waiting for the, sh the shed to be finished And what's even bad is that because my motorbike is sitting in the garage doing nothing, and I already got new stuff that I put I put on my bike. I have new battery that I that I put on, a new exhaust. Um, what else? I got I got a couple of few new stuff that I actually put on my on on my bike, and now that my bike has not been riding for a while, the battery is gonna be probably gonna be flat. But that's when it's like you cannot be bothered to do anything to your motorcycle because it's over there, and you're just like, can I be bothered to? to walk all the way to your house and sort out your motorcycle and then after when you finish you can just you know go back go back to your family member's house and just chill i mean if my motorbike was here at, at my family member's house then i would have done plenty of things to the to my motorbike look after it and that but now it's just sitting there doing nothing gathering dust and yeah it's it sucks so but right now I'm just trying to keep myself busy by uh, by going out to the gym go on training and try to get out more on foot um, trying to get back in to do my martial art training a uh, bit of cage fighting training and, and other stuff I don't want to just sit down and do do nothing you can also sit in, in front of a computer and play games because I mean that's half the time I do but half the times so I'll be like you know what I feel I want to go out for a ride and then it's just like and it's just like you say to yourself oh, I can't I can't go out riding on, on my bike because it's not insured it's got it's MOT it passes MOT but I can't ride my motorbike anyway guys I'm gonna end this video right here it's long and it's boring and you guys will be saying dragon shut up end the video and we hope that we get the new content of you on your motorcycle of rex and that and yeah <laughs> so anyway guys thank you guys for watching hope you like this video if you do press the like button if you don't like the video put a thumbs down and if you are new to the channel subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell because i know that youtube is not showing my videos because 
if they if they are showing my videos then um i would have have more subscribers and more active but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys all in the next one see you later You've been acting like a stranger Said you see me later But you never call back I've been getting faded Running out of patience But I know it's alright I'll just keep on waiting Till you come